Welcome to this video tutorial where we'll go through some of the most important features of the new polygon editor in Satsoft. As an example, we'll create a polygon covering Mexico. In the example, I'll use a satellite placed at 95 degrees west. So inside Satsoft, I double click on satellite 1 to get the spacecraft parameters. Here I enter minus 95 degrees in longitude, meaning 95 degrees west, and then I click OK. Now we see the Earth from the satellite's point of view. Let me just zoom on Mexico and fit it to the screen. To draw a new polygon, I choose Create Polygon. There are two ways to create the polygon. You can add points by clicking, or you can hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse around like this. Once we have added all the points, we right-click to finalize the polygon. In the property dialog that comes up, we can set the style and color of the polygon line as well as the fill, and here I change the color of the polygon to white. The polygon label can either be left empty, used for a descriptive label, or used to give a value that can be used in the antenna optimization. Another important setting is the Show Use in Parent View. If this is checked, the polygon will be used for optimization in the parent antenna. And I click OK. As you can see, the white has a degree of transparency, so you can see the underlying water and land colors. This makes it easier when you have multiple overlaying polygons in the same project. We can deselect the polygon by left-clicking outside the polygon. It can be selected again by clicking inside the polygon. When a polygon is selected, you can add points to the polygon by going close to a line segment, which will turn red, and left click. This will add a point. Now you can click on the point and move it around. You can do that on all the points, simply move close to the point. Once you see the circle around the point, you can left click and drag it. To delete a point in the polygon, simply click on the point and press Delete. It's also possible to expand and shrink a polygon by the pointing arrow. Select a polygon and click on the Expand and Shrink button. This operation generates a new polygon which is automatically selected. See here, we have two polygons, the original and the expanded. You can switch between the two polygons by double-clicking on the polygons. You can also shrink a polygon by the pointing arrow by clicking on the shrink button. Again, this creates a new polygon on top of the original. Now we have three polygons. Let's go back to only having one polygon, so I delete the expanded and the shrunk polygons. Finally, I'd like to show you how easy it is to export the polygon coordinates to an Excel sheet. This is useful if you're writing requests for proposals or requests for information. First, we need to change the map setting to Long Lat, which we do by right-clicking on the map, select Maps and Cities, and here we select Long Lat as our map projection. When we do this, Satsoft offers to resample the polygon such that the shape is maintained also in the new coordinate system. This is particularly useful for polygons with one or more long sides, so we choose Yes. We then open the Table Edit from the right side toolbar. This brings up a table with the coordinates of the polygon, and by clicking Ctrl A and Ctrl C, we select all the points and copy them to the Windows clipboard. We can now paste them into a different program, such as Excel. This was a brief overview of the most important features of the Satsoft Polygon Editor. For more information, check the Satsoft manual. And thank you very much for watching.